week one, Jimmy Garoppolo will be where, Field? <laughs> Man, I think Seattle. And that also means that I don't believe that the 49ers will find a trade partner, as I right. can't imagine a scenario in which they would trade into Seattle unless Seattle said, you can have DK Metcalf or a first-round pick yeah. or some gargantuan package, which I don't think any of us could ever foresee Seattle offering. But I think eventually the 49ers realize that the powder's dry in terms of opportunities to trade Jimmy Garoppolo, and at $24.2 million for a base salary, that's just too expensive to have as your backup quarterback, even if he is a really, really good insurance policy. If the number were a dramatically reduced figure, we'd be having a different conversation. I think that just go around the NFL, spin the wheel of quarterbacks, and there's really only one team that I could make the case right now uh, against having their week one starter on the roster right now. I mean, there are teams that certainly are going to have uh, quarterback turnover next offseason. We'll see what happens with the New York Giants. We'll see what happens with the Houston Texans if they have a high draft pick and they still have Davis Mills. And we'll see what happens with the Carolina Panthers, as an example, as both Sam Darnold and Baker Mayfield are in the final year of their rookie contracts. But for now, I think all of those teams are more likely to go with the in-house option and try to develop either a young player in the case of Daniel Jones and also Davis Mills or the two guys in their fifth year in Sam Darnold and Baker Mayfield. So who do you think wins that competition in Carolina? Field, what do you think? I think it's Baker Mayfield, and I, I, I sort of laughed at first when GM Scott Fitterer called it a competition because it's not as if they paid a significant amount to Baker Mayfield. They are actually paying him less this year than Sam Darnold, uh, and also the draft pick sent back to Cleveland was, you know, that was in, in terms of draft parlance, like that was a relative bargain, but uh, Baker Mayfield is, is a better player than Sam Darnold, and I know that neither of them has been the model of consistency during their career, but Baker Mayfield's best football has been, at least in my estimation, far better than Sam Darnold through the first four seasons of their career. And things went really, really wrong last year for Baker in Cleveland between the injuries, between what felt like just a bad dynamic between the head coach and the quarterback, which is hardly ever a recipe for success in the league. And then also a team that, you know, looked at, out of the gates when they played Kansas City really tough in week one. Like, they had a chance to be the real deal, and the wheels fell off. In the past two years, the entire league has obviously been dealing with things like COVID complications and lack of practice time and inconsistent availability. And it felt like last year was the perfect storm for Baker Mayfield. I don't know that he's going to be a long-term starter in Carolina, but I think he's at least the week one starter, and I'd guess much of this year starter as well.